Thanks for joining me today. Oh, a bit different today. We've got a little review, a little tool review. Santa's been and bought us one of these Karcher's OC3 pressure washer. Now this is a portable pressure washer. We're gonna be using this generally for washing the dogs. You know, when we've took them out for a, a walk on the muddy fields, you don't wanna get them in the car all dirty. So you can get this thing and give them a good wash. So this is my dog wash. Let's have a look and see what's uh, in the box. Now I've seen other people using these and that's why we bought it with, you know, um, you see somebody else having a go and you think, wow, that looks a cracking bit of kit. Could really do one of them just to uh, rinse the muck off the dogs before they get in the car. Um, let's see what we get in the box. Let's have a little look. Thank you for purchasing. <laughs> it's got some destructions. Uh, we've got a little charger and then we have... Um, Oh, that's ominous, isn't it? That's ominous. The charger is out of the packet. Right, nobody's been at this before. I hope it's not a return of some sort. Um, all right, that's the lid off there then. Uh, well, there's not a lot of packaging in the box. It's pretty um, straight out out of the packet. Okay. Um, let's just run through a couple of things. Seen loads of people using these for washing mountain bikes when they've been in the muddy fields uh, across the woods or whatever. So um, this is, it's a, it's a low pressure washer. So you can wash your skin with it. It's not gonna penetrate your skin. It's not like a real hard pressure jet wash. It's got a bit of punch to it, but it's not gonna hurt you and it's not gonna hurt your pets, which is important um, as that's what we wanted it for. So yeah. Um, Good for all that sort of stuff. Camping, I suppose you could use it for camping as well. And uh, what what do we get? So we lift this up here, which allows you to carry it. So that's this little carry handle. Um, we can uh, slide that down there and open up to get the water tank off, which then reveals in this little compartment here, there's a little spray nozzle. So that would obviously come out the side you pop the tank back on, um, something along those lines, maybe. Get that up there. Or maybe not. Yeah. And then clamp that back down again. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Got like a rubber seal on the base there which is quite a nice rubber seal. It's not like an O-ring, it's an actual large ribbed rubber seal, which sits into this little hole at the bottom here, which has got the motor in there and stuff as well, which all looks pretty good. We've got a little spray nozzle there, a little jet nozzle, which will uh, clip into the end of that. Clip and twist, yeah, there you go. Clip and twist into the end. So that's quite nice and interchangeable. I don't know what the end you get with it, but um, that'll be all right for now. Uh, what else do we do here? We've got an on off switch on the front. And I think that is pretty much, pretty much it. There are a couple of other versions of this. There's um, one which you can get specifically for mountain bikes, which has got a few more bits of toolage in it. Um, and have I done that? Has that got to go only goes one way or something, does it? Oh, so you've got to do that when it's up and then it all clamps down. Right, okay. Right then, so, has it got any, oh, it's got some power in it. So we've got a little bit of power. I will sure charge that up though. We've got a nice little filler cap there. Really nice rubberized filler cap, which feels quite, uh, feels quite durable. It feels quite silicone-y. Yeah, it's quite nice. Right, let's put some water in it. Is this the charge plug at the front? Yeah, that's where we charge it up. So we plug that charger into the front there. Is it, uh, is it only going one way or is it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it only goes in one way. Um, and that is a bit ominous because that isn't a, that isn't a house plug. That is, 
Oh, look at that. That's not that's not a 240 volt socket. That's for a shaver. Oh, I think we have a problem, Houston. Hmm, that's interesting. We've got the wrong adapter on there, haven't we? That's not for UK. Oh, no. Mm. Have I got to take that and plug it into the... The only one of these I've got is in the bathroom. I ain't going to take it upstairs and plug it in the bathroom, surely. I might have to get a car charge socket for this. I mean, I might have to invest in another socket for that because I'm not going to be running that up to the bathroom every time I want to uh, charge it up. Uh, let's have a little look and see what we can do. So, yeah, you guessed it. They've sent me a European charger. This has come from Amazon Euro and it's uh yeah it's european but if you look closely on the charger there it does say that it's 100 to 240 volts so if i can get this in my socket we can use it so i've got the uh wrong charger through our socket but what we can do in the short term it's not really yeah what we can do is using a screwdriver just press the little safety tab down inside there put the charger in push it in and turn it on Jobs are good and it's now charging. So we'll run that, we'll let this charge up and then we'll give it a go when it's full of water. Now we've got straight onto Karcher on their website and uh, they got straight back to me to be fair and they're going to be sending me out something similar to this which is the UK plug. So um, yeah, hats off to their customer service and yeah, we'll get the right charger for the job. Let's go and fill it up. Okay, so we can either detach this completely from the... Uh, From the holder, we'll pop the top off and then we can fill that up with the tap. They don't recommend that you put any detergents or soap inside this water tank, it's saying just use clean water. You can put warm water in here if you want to just, uh, you know, if you're going to do the dogs just to warm them up a little bit rather than squirting cold water on them. But just for a trial, I'll try that. So let's pop the cap back on. That's on there, and then we can drop that back into its. Uh, oh, I get, I get that out first. Let's pop that out the back, out like that, and then we'll drop the, uh, the lid on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll get used to it at some point. Put this little charging cover back on, and uh, turn it on. Primed up now. Wow. Got some punch with it. It's quite nice. It's alright. It's not like I say it's not harsh, it's gonna be okay for the dogs. Go and get the dogs mucky, and then we'll give this a go in the car. I have just ordered the in-car charger for it as well, so we'll go and plug that in and get that all loaded up as well. So the in-car charger, here it is, look, £28.14. Amazon Prime, next day deliver it. I'll get the link and put it in the description for you. Right then, here we go, we've got the charger, we've got the washer, let's put it in the car. Right, so what we've got in the uh, charging box, hopefully, is a straightforward charger. Now these come in at 25 quid, I think it was. A bit pricey, but it looks, it looks the proper job. It's, um, it's quite a big unit, to be fair. It's, uh, look at that. But we've got the plug that goes straight into our little power socket there in the back of the car. We can then plug that straight into the side of the, the washer. Now, if you were a dog, would you want to be squirted with water? <laughs> My little mutt's uh, not so keen. This was the first time we got it out and had a go, look. <laughs> I think she wants to run a mile. Yeah, 
my little older, look, and she's, uh, she, she, she's having a bit of it, look. <laughs> You're not impressed. There we go, one down, one to go. Let's get big Lola down here, see if she'll have a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go, she's not so bad, look. She's not so bad. I think they'll get used to it the more we use it. There we go. Oh, there you go, Bob. There you go. That's my Do me well, Liz. Oh, uh, good job. Oh. <laughs> what do they say? Never work with animals and children. <laughs> she says, I've not had enough, I want to go for another walk, Dad. So we've been using the Karcher OC3 kind of pressure washer for about a week now. Um, really impressed with it. The dogs aren't too keen on it. <laughs> Get the old thing out. Come on, dog. But anyway, they're off as quick as they can. Um, does a job, though. Washes that gritty grime, all the mud. When they're covered in mud, you can just get it on the legs and rinse it off. Get it off from the, the bellies if you need to as well. Great for washing your wellies. It's got many, many uses. Um, but I'm really impressed. It's great in the back of the car when you take the dogs out, which is all we really needed it for, was just to rinse the dogs down. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's been a use, I hope you've sort of got an, an idea of how this thing comes together and how it works. There are accessories you can put with it, you can buy different ends, there's a there's a softer nozzle for the dogs which I might invest in because this one, um, although it's not very powerful, it is a pressure jet, the other one is less, it's more like a shower so the dogs are probably just, you know, um, as are a bit of a wuss out to dogs and they don't like that, the, the, the water squirting on them so much. So a softer nozzle would probably help us in that respect. So I will get one of those. We'll try that at a later date. I'll put a link in the description for the Karcher OC3 into the Amazon shop. So if you want one, you can just click on the link and it'll take straight through. If you've got any comments, drop me some comments. Um, like and subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs>